Welcome back to Organizing with Simple Solutions and today I am in Piqua, Ohio with my friend and super awesome organizer Janet Jackson of Organization Solutions LLC and Janet is a workplace organizer and is a whiz at anything Microsoft. And so I wanted to talk to her today because as a mom and as a Microsoft whiz, she's gonna give us some tips on how we can use Excel to help with our medical or veterinary records with our pets. So thank you for coming on today. Thank so you. tell me a little bit about your how you use Excel for your medical and veterinary records. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would I would just say that don't keep Excel in a box and think that it's only for business purposes or workplace purposes. I use it for lots of things in my personal aspect, medical records being what we're talking about here today. So early on, probably when my daughter was born 16 years ago. Um, I just wanted a way to be able to have kind of a comprehensive picture of what was going on with all the different doctor's appointments, not that she had anything serious going on, though I would say if you have something serious going on, this becomes oh, even that much more invaluable, absolutely. Uh, but really just one comprehensive list of, of everything that's going on. When did she go to the dentist? When did she have her last tetanus shot? When did she get her immunizations? How often? My daughter had croup growing up a lot. So how, what was the frequency? Could we start to identify what some of the triggers were for croup and those kinds of things? So just being able to see this listing. And the fact that I'm con controlling this listing is fantastic because first of all, it's comprehensive. It's all the doctors that we're seeing. It's not right. just this portal for this doctor and this portal for this doctor. Um, I don't have to worry about remembering a password to go on and quickly. <laughs> I'm so bad about that. <laughs> or me. I use the same one, right. which is really bad. You have to remember the website, the password, right. the username, all right. this stuff. I'm like, forget it. I just want to click a button and know my answer. So right. by me maintaining it, I've got all of that. Not to mention if you switch doctors. So if we switch from one general practitioner to another, well, all of a sudden, that comprehensive listing, you have to piece together. I, right. I, you don't know I when those vaccinations things. happened. You don't know all and that. You have to and you have to pay for it to, right. get, to get all that information if you would need it immediately. That's true. Yep, exactly. So, so that's how I started. That's why I started keeping track of my own family's medical records. And it's really simple. Do you want me to tell you? Yes, no. tell me. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm very excited. Tell me all about your list. Okay, so my list it's just one, well, it's one Excel file. Uh, and then for those of you that are all familiar with Excel, Excel lets you have different sheets. So my husband has a sheet, I have a sheet, my daughter has her own sheet, and then each of my dogs have their own sheet. Because they're, they're parts of the family they too. They're absolutely right? parts of the family, exactly. So you're, it's super flexible how much information you wanna capture here. From a simplicity perspective, I keep about four, maybe five fields. Date, so what date were we at the doctor? Um, I have kind of like a category of what kind of doctor it was. Was it a general practitioner? Was it a dentist? Um, uh, was it a specialist of some sort? Um, maybe why we went, a column for what, why we wanted, what was going on that caused us to go to the doctor. And then if there was a diagnosis or any actions taken, so I can see really quickly how the last time my daughter was on antibiotics or how often she's been on antibiotics. And if you wanted to track some of those other measures, such as blood pressure, weight, height, those kinds of things, those could be columns as well. Well, because that might be information that a doctor might need and it might have changed. You may not have been to your general practitioner, but you may have been to a specialist in that time and then all of a sudden there's like a 15 pound weight loss, but you might not have noticed it. Right because you haven't been to another doctor. So that's a, that's a really a great thing. And so about how long do you think it takes you to update this file when you would come home from the doctor? Seconds. Yeah, seconds. <laughs> it takes seconds really to set it up. Right. And then it's just seconds. Um, you get home, you've got that receipt, or you've got that, you know, somehow you have to remember to open up this file. So I open up the file, key in those five or six pieces of information, Save the file and I'm done. And I'm done. So then on the flip side of now you have this really great chart that mm -hmm. you have, what is a way that you might use it then, what, you know, get that information out? The, the, the thing that comes to mind, because I've done it very recently, is my daughter's starting to go to camps, church camps, and those kinds of things. We have to fill out the medical release form. And 
of all the things they ask, I don't really entirely get it, but they always want to know when our last tetanus shot was. I'm like, okay. Apparently they have a lot, of, pox, a lot of rusty nails around. <laughs> right, exactly. So they always want to know when the last tetanus shot was. I'm like, oh, for crying out loud. Oh, wait, I remember I have this handy dandy medical record spreadsheet. Let me just go look for tetanus. And so in Excel, in the upper right hand corner of the home ribbon, there is a find button. You can recognize it because it's a pair of binoculars. Helping you remember, I'm searching, oh. I'm searching for something. See, so. I didn't know this. She just showed this to me. <laughs> yep. So you can click on the find button and it'll open up a dialogue box. And in that dialogue box, I just key in the word tetanus. You may have to Google it to remember how to spell it. But anyway, <laughs> no, I'm actually, I can spell tetanus. So just look for the word tetanus. And when, um, when once I've keyed that in, I click find next. And that'll take me to every instance of, I just keep clicking find next until I find, until you the, find most the most recent, recent one. Um, yeah, most, re most recent <laughs> tetanus shot, and so then I've got my date. Awesome. That is so awesome. So Janet loves to give everyone ways to be more productive in their life, and you have an online course that you teach called A Better Way. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I do. It's a, You're absolutely right, and I'd love to tell you more about it. <laughs> It is an online, um, lots of courses actually, it's an online e-learning site and so I've created a workshop series called A Better Way To. And the workshop series is a better way to organize your workspace, so how you process things that are coming into your life, deal with them and move them out of your life. A better way to manage your workday, so a lot of time management concepts. A better way to use Excel, because so many people use Excel but aren't using it to its, to fullest, its, fullest, yep, yep. To its <laughs> fullest advantage. A better way to use Outlook, so helping you stay on top of that email mountain. Um, and then the last one is getting overhauled. I think it's going to be called A Better Way to Processes and Procedures, helping organizations um, document things and those things. kinds of things. But in addition to my Better Way to series, there's all kinds of other trainings, Microsoft Office trainings really available on the site. So if you're very new to Excel, I have an Excel Fundamentals course available on the e-learning site. So you can start from the beginning and work your way through and manage your life with Excel. <laughs> awesome. So what, and what I really love is that regardless of if you're using it in the workplace or you're using it at home, there are more efficient ways to do things. And so I really think that Janet's courses and um, these little you know, snippets that you can give us are really gonna be helpful for anybody who is managing people. Yes. Little or full size. <laughs> life, yes. <laughs> life, work, and everything in between. Exactly. Awesome. Well, I will make sure to link to all of Janet's information on her courses and her website below in the description. And thank you so much for having me over and for thank teaching you. us about using Microsoft Excel for medical and veterinary records. Thank you so much for watching today and make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of my organizing tips or simplifying habits for you and your family. And I will catch you next time on Organizing with Simple Solutions. Oh, like, <laughs> whapper all of a sudden. <laughs>